What's up guys, it's Teaching Miss Fashion and this week I'll be doing a segment on tailoring. Now, you might have heard this before that the fit of your clothing is the most important part of looking good when you're in menswear, alright? Now, when your fit's not right, it looks like you're wearing barred clothes or clothes that just isn't for your body, making you look either shorter or maybe fatter or even sloppy. Now, as you can see, the outfit that I got on hasn't been tailored yet. It's new clothes that I just bought, but that I'm going to take to the tailor and I'm going to show you guys the difference that tailoring does. Now, tailoring is an inexpensive process depending on what you're going to do. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do to this outfit and how, what my total cost was for tailoring the whole outfit. Now, this whole outfit is oversized. Now, I'm going to show you. The blazer, starting with the blazer, the blazer fits right everywhere, all right? The length of it, the fit from the, sh from the shoulders, and the fit from the waist. Where I'm having an issue is on my sleeves. As you can see, my sleeves are really long, and you can't see my shirt cuff underneath. You're always supposed to be able to see at least a fourth of an inch of your shirt cuff. And as you can see, I have that problem. So I'm going to get that tailored, all right? Another tailoring that I'll have to do would be to my shirt. Now this shirt does fit me, all right? It was bought for my size, and the only difference is, is that it's a classic fit. Now to avoid tailoring on shirts, I would recommend going with the slim fit shirt, and most likely you won't be able, you won't need to do any tailoring to that. But this, this is a classic fit shirt, but it's in my size. It fits me from the shoulders, it fits me from the sleeves, and it fits me from my neck. But like I said, it's a classic fit, so it does have a lot of extra fabric that is unnecessary and it bolts me up, makes me look wider. So you can see right here. And then the last thing that I have to fix are going to be my pants. Now my pants, they fit me great from the waist, but as you can see I have tons of breaks down there, right? Starting with my knees down to my ankles. There are a lot of breaks down there which make me look short, make me look stumpy, and make me look sloppy, right? It looks like it's, they're not my pants, they're too long. And again, another inexpensive process, I will be bringing them up and getting them tapered and you'll see the difference that it makes. I'll show you the after pics right now. This is the fully tailored outfit. Now, remember the blazer, it was perfectly fine except the sleeves. As you can see now, you can see some shirt cuff. The next thing I got tailored was the shirt. This one was, I think, one of the most baggiest items I had on. I'll let you know the full price of everything at the end, but so this is the shirt now, as you can see it was brought in from the waist, no more extra fabric from the back to, you see the it really flatters my body type, so it's not all that extra fabric that made me look bigger, you know, what looks like I was wearing my dad's shirt instead of my own shirt. And then the pants, as you can see like I said, I would bring them up and then I would get them tapered. Again, they flatter me, make me look leaner, make me look a little bit more clean, you know, more sharp, more clean cut than all those breaks that I had before. Now, for the cops, for the blazer just to get the sleeves hemmed, it was $20. For the pants to get them hemmed and tapered, that was 12 And for the shirt just to get a taper brought in from the sleeves and the waist, it was 10 So the full cost of the whole outfit was $42, which really for three pieces, it wasn't that bad and it will, the clothes will look a lot better, a lot more expensive than the, what they really are because they will look like they were, they were made for you. So I hope you guys were enticed to start tailoring your clothes. You'll look a thousand times better and I hope this video helped. Remember to like this video if you liked it and subscribe. I try to put out videos every week. Thank you for watching. Before I end this video, I just wanted to show you a quick item that we received in the mail. If you remember, I think two videos ago I did a review on wallets and this is basically a new, more slim, profiled wallet, more like just for business cards, you really can't carry money, as you can see it's two-tone, alright, we have dark brown in the back, and more of like a caramel color in the front with their emblem, right down in the corner, and what I use it for, is for business cards, and it's a nice sleek wallet that it, when you're wearing a blazer, you can just slip in here, and it basically gets lost in the blazer, because it's so slim, so go ahead and go check them out. Again, like I said, it has an amazing quality. You've heard my reviews on Costello before. And check them out. It's a different product, maybe just as a card, as a business card holder or as a credit card holder. And see if you guys like them. I'll have a link below in my bio so you guys can click on it. Thank you for watching.